Warzone Mobile is suffering the same curse if not worse than recent mobile FPS titles. The hype was insane, the anticipation was insane, but what we did actually get did not live up to the hype at all. Now don't get me wrong, when Warzone Mobile does work the way it is attended to, it actually is a whole lot of fun and it's exactly what we needed on mobile. The problem is, that is rarely the case. From battery drainage to overheating after only one or two games, from frame drops and let's not forget about the underwhelming graphics, it really does have a lot of issues. Like take a look at this, the current rating on Google Play Store is sitting at 2.5 in my region and I have seen it as low as 1.9 in others. The sad thing is that this is hands down going down is probably the worst launch ever in mobile gaming history and well it could have been prevented if they pushed it back and actually optimized the game for lower end devices. Actually I take that back if they optimized it for Android devices because at the end of the day I'm experiencing a lot of these issues and I'm on the S24 Ultra which just released a few months ago. Like take a look at this. The game which is inspired and pretty much made to be a Warzone mobile clone is outperforming the original. They literally both came out on the same day and the original is suffering and the clone is thriving. You cannot make this stuff up. Right now from what I have heard playing on iOS it runs pretty smooth but from my experience and pretty much the whole community on Android it is not a lot of fun. It really feels like this game was made for iOS and Android was just an afterthought towards the end. Think of it this way, you can buy an Xbox Series S for around $250 and run Warzone 2 or MW3 pretty damn amazingly with really good graphics and little to no issues. But an Android device, which costs double that if not more, struggles to run Warzone Mobile and the graphics look pretty much like a game which is still in alpha. Like honestly, they should have pushed the game back. Now we have to ask ourselves the question, where does Warzone Mobile go from here? The hype has died down by a lot. A lot of players have gone back to their previous game being COD Mobile or PUBG Mobile, meaning if Warzone Mobile wants to make any sort of comeback, they have to have a huge update which fixed the game and it has to be big and it has to be quick. Here's what Chris Plummer, co-studio head at Warzone Mobile had to say about optimization. Check it out and then I'll be back to discuss it some more. It's been great to watch everybody playing the game. Uh, the team across all the studios is, you know, busy at work, um, you know, monitoring how people are playing, checking out the community feedback um, ever since launch. So it's been really exciting. Uh, there's been a ton of feedback and actually a lot of stuff that we can work with, which is like really, really awesome. Uh, and so we've been running with it. So the team's been super busy um, doing things like, you know, monitoring and also like putting together a hot fix. Our first one, or, you know, one of the first ones you'll see anyway, um, that we hope to get live sometime later today. Some of that includes, there were some graphics and performance things that came up on some certain Android devices. Um, so a lot of that is what this particular update is about, but there's some, there's some other things in there too. Uh, for example, we saw some issues that were preventing certain devices from getting full fidelity graphics. Uh, so that'll definitely help uh, in those cases. Um, we've uh, we've also been able to speed up the time that it takes to stream assets on certain devices. So, you know, it can start out sort of at low fidelity and start streaming in as you play. Um, some devices that was taking longer than we expected. So uh, put in some fixes for that. Also, there were some graphical corruptions and even crashes that we saw uh, reported and we were able to, to address some of those. You know, there's even an issue where there was a large number of unsupported devices that actually did have access to the game and could download it. Uh, so some folks were getting this unsupported GPU error. That's what that was about. So we fixed that. So if you can download the game, it, you'll you'll actually be able to run it, which is the intention of you'll keep playing. For everyone out there who's, who, who's playing, you'll keep giving us the feedback in the comments. If you're having a blast with this game, then you'll get on our official socials on, uh, on our official X, uh, Discord and Reddit channels and let us know. Let the team know that you're enjoying the game. And if you're having a problem or a challenge or a, you know, you've, you've run into an issue, well, let us know that too. You know, get on the social channels, the official channels. Um, let us know which device you have. That helps a lot. 
Um, let us know um, if you have a screenshot or video, even your, your player ID can help sometimes uh, on those. So keep that feedback coming. Constructive feedback is what helps us make the game better. And we're always listening to you. Um, and, and hopefully you're noticing the game is always- So according to Chris Plummer, and also based on this image over here from Warzone Mobile, they are aiming at fixing the game and optimizing it. And they have already fixed a lot of bugs, but the bigger, more annoying game breaking stuff still remains in the game, which is definitely unfortunate. Now this morning we have received a new mini update aimed at fixing some uh, bugs and it did but it also limited most if not all Android devices from accessing high and mid graphics. Like I said earlier in the video I'm on the S24 Ultra and as of this morning I can now only play the game on low quality graphics which is just insane to me but at least I can say it does feel somewhat smoother and I also have been experiencing much better FPS as of this morning which is a good thing. But on the downside overheating, crashing, battery drainage remains in the game still. Now I don't want to sound negative, but I do want to be honest, if one of the latest Android phones cannot run your game on the highest quality graphics, or it can't run your game on the lowest graphics but with no issues, then your game was nowhere near ready for launch. It is just the truth, I am not being negative, it is just the honest truth. Now to be somewhat optimistic, there is a big update coming to the game on the 3rd of April, which includes a new rank mode, a training room, plunder mode, and most likely a new MP mode as well, probably being search and destroy, and most importantly, they aim to improve the optimization as well. So yes, the new content sounds good, but if the optimization aspect is not major, especially for Android, then it doesn't really matter, does it? So in conclusion, Warzone Mobile at the moment is in a really tough position with the game being unplayable for most. However, they are working on improving it and we should see a massive update on the 3rd of April which will hopefully fix the issues to some extent. If it will, I guess we are going to have to wait and see. I will say though, if they can fix all these issues, I do think the game can make a comeback and really thrive in the mobile space. But what is your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section, I would love to know. And with that being said though guys, that is going to be all for today's Warzone mobile video. So if you did enjoy, drop a like and if you haven't already, make sure to smack that sub button. But yeah guys, I'll catch you in the next one and enjoy your day.